Welcome back to another session of Demo Mondays. Demo Mondays is video series presented on Mondays where I invite creators of different Amazon seller software tools. And I ask them to present their product just like this on the screen. And my next guest is Word3. And Word3 is presented by the co-founder, Paul Scarry. Hello, Paul. Hi, how's it going? Great to see you. And uh, could you tell us briefly uh, how, uh, what is it, Word3, and what problems does it solve for Amazon sellers? Well, briefly, our goal is to help uh, fellow Amazon private label sellers grow their search traffic, research their competitors, and monitor their niche. So we're mostly basing all our software around keywords. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you mentioned private label sellers. And does it matter for your software if it's a big seller or a small seller? Does it fit everyone? It does fit everyone. And... Um, and then the marketplaces we're covering are the U.S., the U.K., and Canada. Oh, okay, so U.K. is covered. Are you planning to include more European markets? Yeah, we're kind of seeing how this goes. Uh, we're definitely looking at Germany next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because your software depends on the languages because it's a keyword software, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes you know it makes it a little more complicated once we start going into uh, non-English speaking. Yeah. All right, great. So let's jump into the Word three software to see how it works and how to use it. Um, so our software starts off is really all based around our keyword report. So we would start a new report here. And then, so we'll make it easy and use um, Jungle Scouts listing. So copy link address and put this in. And then we'll now take, once we have that in, we can put up to 10 competitors here. And so I might do something like, um, so I'd search like marshmallow roasting sticks in Amazon. I'd pick out my competitors, probably using like Jungle Scout Pro or somebody else. I could get an idea of the sales that they have. And then I would probably, you know, kind of look at who's actually, um, you know, related to my product because some of these aren't going to be the best. So I choose like the highest quality competitors and then I would add their um, ASINs in here or their links. And so I already picked these out. So I'll just show you. And you can add up to 10 competitors, you see. Up to 10. Um, but really, I always recommend quality over quantity because uh, you don't really want to put in competitors that don't know what they're doing. It's not going to help you. You want to get ones that actually have good quality keywords behind them. So now you, your goal is to find the keywords that competitors are ranking for? Yeah, so what we're, we're basically finding out what's made them successful. And we're getting to pulling the keywords out that made them successful. Mm -hmm. And we're also using our own. And then, so then we'll go ahead and purchase here. And just to speed this up, well, so once you purchase now, we'll have the report done in within a couple hours. Um, now, after, so this is what it'll look like when it's done. You'll go over to your history, you'll find it here. You can view the report. And then, so this would be an example. Um, we have a relevancy score that will tell you how relevant each of these keywords are to your listing. And then this broad search volume and exact search volumes, these are pulled from Amazon servers because currently there's a leak in Amazon's ad servers. So this data is pulled directly from them. 
And then we have the sales velocity, which is going to be an estimate of what or how many sales the top listing has per day. Uh, these are monthly here. And then, so you can go on, like, take out your competitor keywords, this, and... Um, and the relevancy score, who is calculating this? Uh, it's our own. It's our mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, now we have this keyword list and we can... So now what we could do here is go over to our listing builder with this. So you go listing builder. And so let's start over. Um, so you can see here, like, these are now the top 200 phrases uh, sorted by volume. So you can see now which ones are going to drive the most sales. So if you're going to build the listing by scratch, you can see which are the most important ones to add into your title and bullet points. And you can start working down. And then when you add in one of these terms, see how it disappears? So you could go marshmallow roasting sticks and then you know, slowly start adding them in and they'll start disappearing so you can see what you've uh, removed. And then you look down here and here's the unique words. So you can see all the individual keywords that make up the phrase and you can see when they've matched. Um, in this case though, since we already have a current listing, we can just import it here. So we go over to the import button and then we'll just import over the entire listing. So now you can see uh, this percentage bar. You can see how many of the phrases have actually been missed by Jungle Scout. Mm -hmm. And then you can start adding these in. So here's the description. You could start like taking these phrases and working them in or these individual keywords and working them into your uh, description because uh, right now any customer comes and search in like s'more sticks or sm s'more marshmallows in Amazon, well, this listing isn't going to show up. So he's missing sales here. And then you can see the search terms are right here. And now you can like, we have this button here. You can just import in the rest of them. So once you finish building you, your main part of your listing, you can just start adding these into the back end and start getting the rest of your words covered. So basically you fill up these uh, fields and then you copy paste manually into your uh, Amazon listing or you can push it through your software? We, uh, no, we did manual because we decided people probably don't want to tie their Amazon mm -hmm. account to us. So everything is, they can keep completely private. Mm -hmm. um, so then yeah, eventually here you'd see this percentage increase all the way up and then you'd know how much coverage you got. Um, so once you finish there, now you could take and go, let's see, we go back to the report and we'll copy over all the keywords here and we'll do this now index check it so we have this free index checker it's just a chrome extension and you can just put in the list so copy and paste out from that what we just created check phrasing and then we'll just check it out. i think asin is missing oh yeah gotta get these there you go. And then uh, get this over. Okay. And then that will start running through. Well, let's run in. You can go over here to a rank tracker. And so I've already selected out the keywords you want, but you can choose which keywords you want and which competitors you want to track. So now you could click here and you can see 
Um, here's our change over time, one day, eight day for this particular keyword. You can add in different competitors and see how they're doing compared to you. And you can add or remove. And then you can make, you know, A-B testing decisions or if you're going to be like doing boosting or anything like that, you can, uh, this will all aid with that. Or you can track your, you know, how your competitors are doing compared to you. So like here's competitor one, two, and three yeah, for bamboo sticks for this particular phrase. And they can see the volume next to it. And then... Uh, and the position probably is not taking into account sponsored products, right? No, no, it wouldn't be. This is just for organic ranking. So yeah, you could like make PPC decisions, uh, maybe look at like where your other competitors are compared to you. And then maybe you want to spend more on PPC for certain terms because you see which competitors are around to you. And how to use this tool if I have, if I'm not selling the product, I want to enter, introduce a new product. So now you started to show us how you're entering your own ASIN, but mm -hmm. I still don't have uh, any history on my new ASIN, let's say. Oh, for rank tracking? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend running rank tracker until you've like, started the listing and and the keyword research, I think in keyword research, there was also a possibility to enter your own ASIN, I understood. And how? Uh, yeah, I was just showing an example. So you do need to have an ASIN, but it doesn't have to be active. Or you can just take and put in the competitor ASIN as mm -hmm. a placeholder, and then you can come back later and change it out. So mm -hmm. okay. let's, if you ever wanted to... You can just update the report here and then change out your master ASIN if you put a competitor ASIN in as a placeholder when you're first getting okay. going. But yeah, all right. Um, so yeah, so now this is completed and then you can see now like here how they've, you can see all the keywords he's missed or he's not indexing for. So he could start picking up some sales if he added these into his uh, listing. Mm -hmm. And this also helps for like, if you went over um, like the 250 character limit on the back end and didn't realize it, then an Amazon de-indexed you, you'd be able to figure that out here because now you'll find a big chunk of these are not indexed. You could come back and troubleshoot that I think that covers everything uh-huh great and uh, so yeah it's pretty obvious how to use it and in the rank tracking is there a limit how many uh, uh, tracking uh, um, objects you can create yeah um, well our lowest tier is a hundred do you want me to show the pricing yeah let's do th the pricing overview okay let's do that so here's on our, the organic keyword research report, which is what everything kind of ties around. That's $20 per report, but the first one is 50% off. So you could get their first one for $10 and try us out. If you're, we have a money back guarantee too. So if anybody isn't happy with the report at all, they can just contact us and we'll and the report means what you showed us at the beginning, yeah? It was one report, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's, which includes, you know, up to the, the 10 competitors. It's just like a reverse ASIN keyword report, um, mm -hmm. but it includes uh, up to 10. And you mentioned that report is generated within a couple of hours. It means that uh, in the back end, your, your computers are collecting the data, right? Yeah, everything is like custom built for everyone. So it's slower, but you know, it's a higher quality report because of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is, so you can buy per report and also you can sign up for monthly. So, yeah. So these are, these are just per report. And then here is uh, the monthly plans for a rank tracker. So with the bronze, this is up to a hundred keywords. 
and the silver is 500. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, okay, yeah. so the monthly pricing includes only rank tracker, and uh, each report costs twenty dollars, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah, you can just run reports as needed, and then track whatever amount of keywords you want. And yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So if there is a person who has one hundred SKUs. It's the same pricing or you go into a negotiation for smaller prices? Uh, yeah, we have bulk pricing. So um, I can show you that too. So here's the bulk pricing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So if someone has 100, it costs only $7 per report. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, it looks very obvious what you can do and are you planning to introduce any other new features for the users in the nearest future uh our, what we're looking at right now is a ppc tool so we're hoping to just have a fully automated ppc tool i think that's a lot of people could really use that uh-huh all right and uh so it's the only big thing planned at the moment yeah that's right or I mean, we might you know like we said earlier go into some more marketplaces but mm -hmm. uh, we're still kind of debating which to go in uh, mm -hmm. to go with the ppc tool or keep expanding into more marketplaces great and about support how do existing or potential clients could get in touch with your support team uh, on each of our pages there's a help button and or you can just directly email us uh, and you know during Eastern time, usually it's from eight to six. Uh, our response rates, you know, under two hours. Oh. And uh, usually everything, you know, I'm usually handling a lot of the customer support. And so uh -huh. great. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Paul, for this introduction of this new tool. And thank you. Yeah. Good luck in your business. Bye. Thank you for the interview. Goodbye.